So can AI help me build Wireshark filters? Now let's be honest, Wireshark filters are not always the easiest things to remember. So it would be pretty cool if AI could help us to not just generate them, but also help us to remember them. So I know there's a lot of buzz around ChatGPT. Now, if you haven't checked out ChatGPT, it comes to us from a company called OpenAI. Go check it out. And it means Chat Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. Okay, so this is basically a bot that can answer queries and it does it in a very human readable format. So what I thought I would do is try its paces with some Wireshark filters. Can this thing really help me to be a better packet analyst? So let's go ahead and check it out. So on the right here, you can see I just have a basic PCAP. I just opened up Wireshark, started a capture, and I went to a handful of different websites. So what I want to do is I want to see with ChatGPT, after I went to OpenAI, I logged in, I want to be able to see, can this thing help me to generate a few Wireshark filters? So let's go ahead and check it out. Now, a very common filter that I use quite a bit in my analysis is a subnet filter. And that's when I'm looking for not just a single address, but maybe an address in a given range or from a whole subnet. So so let's throw that at ChatGPT and see if it can help us to set a filter like that. So I went ahead and typed in Wireshark filter for a subnet. Let's see what it comes back with. Okay, so initially when it builds out this response, I can see that there are a couple of filters that are correct. Uh, it mentions here, this is actually exactly what I would do if I was filtering for a subnet, ip.adder equals equals, and then you can go ahead and give it uh, the number of bits in that subnet mask that you want to use uh, to set the part of the filter, right? Or set the part of the subnet. So right there, that's that's the way that I would do it. We do need to be careful, like for example, net, here's a, a net, and then I have that uh, address there. Uh, you know, that's not something that Wireshark really does. In fact, let's go ahead and test this out. Uh, if I come over here, I'm just going to just say net. And then I have this 13 address range here. So let's just do this 13.0.0.0 slash 24. And here we can see that it's still red. So in Wireshark 4.0 and newer, at least, uh, you know, th this isn't going to be a valid filter. So just something we want to be careful of that we do want to take it with a grain of salt. You know, AI is still learning. So maybe in the future that that response will change. But overall up here, I do, I do like this filter. I also like down below uh, that we can use the not operator to exclude traffic. That's a good example as well. We can say not, or we can use the exclamation point and then put that subnet in parentheses if there are any subnets that we want to remove from our, our uh, packets. So, so far, okay, it, it looks all right so far, uh, but let's keep going. So another filter that I use quite a bit when I'm doing my analysis is filtering for a range of TCP ports uh, or several different TCP ports like port 80, port 443, uh, and so on. So I'm interested to see what it comes up with here. Okay, so we just let that build out and here we can see that it is giving us that filter expression. All right, TCP port is greater than or equal to X and TCP port is less than or equal to Y. So uh, that's where we could give it a range, anything more than 3000 and less than 3050. Uh, okay, so that's one way that we could set a range. I think another way that I would do this is I would use the membership operator and that's where we would do tcp.port and then in, and then we have our curly braces and that's where we give it several different ports that we'd be interested in. But again, so far so good. I did ask for a range and that's what uh, chat GPT responded with. Now, one type of filter that I really, really stink at, I'm just gonna be honest with you, are the regex filters. Uh, that's where we use, we give it a certain field name and then we can say matches and then we give a Perl compatible regular expression. So let's see if chat GPT can help us out with that. Uh, so one thing I'm going to do is in this PCAP that I have, I've got a lot of different DNS queries for different types of sites. So uh, .com, .net, .org. So let's see if chat GPT can help us to build a regex filter that would filter for those DNS names that I'm querying for. So let me come down here. I'm just going to say Wireshark DNS query names regex filter for .com, .net, .org. Let's see what happens. Okay, and as this is building out, also I think it's interesting, it just says filter expression dns.query.name matches .com .net .org. And actually that's exactly what I was looking for. So uh, let's go ahead, I'm just gonna take this DNS, I'm just gonna take that, oh, it's still building out. And take and copy that guy. And I'm going to bring up Wireshark. Just pop it in there. 
I lost that last uh, <laughs> quotation mark in the copy. Okay, let me just enter that. And here I can see that I've got Google, I've got uh, a lot of different sites, and those are .net, I can get .org, .com. Uh, so that did accomplish what I was looking for. Okay, but what about filtering for problems? So things that um, are actually indicators of, of issues in my PCAP. So for example, filtering for all of TCP retransmissions. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. Okay, and so we can see this building out. Uh, it's giving me tcp.analysis.retransmission. So sure enough, that's exactly the one that I could use if I just want to see retransmissions. And also it's giving me that not option if I want to see everything but those retransmissions. So as far as the filtering goes, we can see this is still basic. Uh, I still have to do some testing as far as the practical ones that I actually use in the real world. But also in addition to that, I thought I'd show you real quick some other interesting things that we might throw at uh, ChatGPT. So for example, what if... Uh, uh, I was just taking a look at a PCAP and I wanted to remember the difference between TCP MSS and uh, maybe the network MTU. So that's something else I can throw. So what is the difference between uh, TCP MSS and network MTU? Let's see how chat GPT handles that question. All right, so as I can see this building out, hey, I'll give it a pretty decent job there. I'll go and come give it a thumbs up. Uh, let's go. Okay, there we go. So yeah, it basically tells me about the TCP MSS. It describes what the network MTU is, how they're different. So hey, you know what, AI? Good job so far, and I'll go ahead and take that. So can we use AI to generate Wireshark filters? Sure, we can use chat GPT just to head check ourselves, maybe especially with some of those filters that we might have a hard time remembering. Uh, even looking for top filters in Wireshark, uh, chat GPT actually gives us a pretty good list as far as uh, common ones that we can use with Wireshark. Now, if you have a tough time remembering these and you just don't wanna go to AI to do it, go ahead and click here because this is my video in my Wireshark masterclass that talks about how to set these filters for yourself and how to use them in your analysis. Thanks for stopping by everybody.